This is how I test and scale my Facebook ad accounts to the moon with a one campaign setup. You know anything about me, I've regularly run ad accounts from a couple hundred or a couple thousand a day into the 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 thousand dollar a day range or more. I've been doing it for years and there's a really simple system that I use to build every single one of those ad accounts and it builds around one campaign. So let's dive into it because this will change everything for you. Let's focus on why you only need one campaign and how it works. Remember, Facebook is a machine learning platform. We also have to understand that we are spending money on ads. And like anywhere you spend money, you should be thinking about it like an investment banker. This is really important because it helps us frame our decision making. Because the honest truth is, you don't need to be spending nearly as much money in nearly as many places. And probably the majority of the money you're spending right now is actually a liability to the success that you deserve. The other thing we have to remember is you need to prioritize the scientific method. And also we need to understand the priorities of our business objectives. The more campaigns you run, and the more different products that you promote, the more complex and unstable and unpredictable and unreliable Facebook gets. If you're running more than one campaign for your Facebook ad account, whether it's 200 bucks or 10,000, you have to understand that there's a really big issue to this structure. The performance after the click is suffering dramatically why? Because you are unable to invest nearly as meaningfully into the flywheel of optimization around your best investment. If you are trying to handle landing page testing on seven different landing pages, or four different email flows, or three different versions of a post-transactional upsell, how good do you think you're going to be at any one of those? And if you are making the best choice, how much longer is it going to take for you to get there? And is that really worth it? Just so you can promote the thing that makes you less money? And that's really how the one campaign gives an advantage over anything else. Not only does it centralize our investment to our best single use of our time and money, and not only does Facebook get better and better faster and faster because we're putting all of our machine learning and data development into doing one thing exceptionally well, but we're also able to test and improve our landing page journey and our post-transactional customer journey because every single customer is going through the same thing, which means we don't have to manage nearly as many time wasting projects and we can focus on the one thing that's actually important to our bottom line lastly when you're using multiple campaigns or like a lot of them and by a lot of I mean like four or five targeting multiple audiences with multiple products or maybe you have a test and a scale campaign because somebody told you that was a good idea what you're not doing is allowing Facebook to be nearly as good as it is at its job of delivering the best possible result for any one of those marketing efforts. Think of it like this. How many employees are you going to poorly train and overinvest in just to get an overall worse result? Does that make any sense? It doesn't make any sense to me. Why are you investing in so many places to do a lower quality job and investing in things to get you a lesser desirable return? If you wanna scale your Facebook ad account to the moon, here's what you need to do. Here's how I do it. And I've been running hundreds of millions of dollars on Facebook, building up eight figure businesses for many years in a row. Now we use the one campaign setup with one ad set being basically our best ads and the other ad set being a dynamic creative test. And that dynamic creative test needs to target specific business objectives. And it's really one of two things. The first, improve a concept that is currently working. Can we make a better version 
of a winning ad so that we can replace an existing ad with something that is more efficient with high confidence. Knowing that every ad makes its own targeting audience and knowing that ultimately a bunch of ads all targeting the same group are going to cannibalize each other, all we really need are one or two options to best address that need. The second part of your one campaign setup is the test. We have a control element, and now we have a variable. Have your test be the dynamic creative test that you want to run. And the purpose of these tests is to ultimately deliver, ultimately drive up improved performance. It's going to deliver you better and better ads that will ultimately improve on ads that you have, either making better versions of the ads that you have so you can target those audiences more efficiently, or make ads that appeal to a different audience so you can scale your spend. Remember, we're targeting broad. Ads make their own audiences. So when you want to target different audiences, make different ads. That way you can ensure a continually improving performance trend line, basically a flywheel for your business that gets better and better and better over time. And the way that we do that is to launch these tests for very specific objectives. If you want to scale your Facebook ad account to the moon, here's what you need to do. Here's how I do it. And I've been running hundreds of millions of dollars on Facebook, building up eight-figure businesses for many years in a row. Now, we use the one campaign setup with one ad set being basically our best ads and the other ad set being a dynamic creative test. And that dynamic creative test needs to target specific business objectives. And it's really one of two things. The first, improve a concept that is currently working. Can we make a better version of a winning ad? so that we can replace an existing ad with something that is more efficient with high confidence. Knowing that every ad makes its own targeting audience and knowing that ultimately a bunch of ads all targeting the same group are going to cannibalize each other, all we really need are one or two options to best address that need. Second here, ads create their own audiences and every kind of concept appeals to potentially a slightly different type of person. That's how we get to overcome objections. That's how we recreate targeting uh, funnels within broad audiences. That's how we basically craft messaging with multiple points. Because every ad makes a lookalike audience based on who responded to it and how, which is how targeting works in any optimized CPM environment and has for years. Remember, audiences don't do anything other than restrict your ad from being able to show itself to the people that are most likely to positively receive it. They are exclusions that come at an extra cost. Ads do the targeting. That's why you don't need any audiences. If you go broad, your audience, your ad set is never gonna burn out. That's just an obsolete thinking. That's 2016. Here's how to scale a Facebook ad account to six, seven, eight figures for a brand. What I've done to take a business from $500 to 50,000 in daily spend. Now, obviously we're using this one campaign setup, right? And we've got a control ad set of our best ads. And the other ones we're doing dynamic creative tests because that's letting Facebook determine the best iteration. We use a three, two, two method to keep it as simple as possible. Now, dynamic creative tests, when we launch them, need to be strategic. They can appeal to different types of customers or uh, overcome different objections or get different placements across Facebook's ecosystem. Maybe some ads are designed for the feed and some ads are designed for stories and reels. So that ultimately we can drive more scale and spend. Scale being a product of efficiency, scale of the output, not of the budget. And when we get a higher margin, we can improve the investment we're making into the system by adding more spend. Because ultimately we have ads that appeal to different types of people and new audiences. We can spend more. Here's how to scale your one campaign Facebook ad account. Scaling ad results is doing really one of two things. Either we can make our Facebook ad results more efficient, getting a lower CPA, which means that we're getting more results for the same investment, our dollars working harder. Or 
We can focus on spending more money to drive a higher volume of result, probably at a lower efficiency. Our primary effort should always be to stabilize and improve efficiency. And the single campaign where we're doing both testing and scaling because we respect the scientific method and we don't feel like spending so much money to create harm. And ultimately, the idea of letting the machine deliver the best result for us is a lot better than us being reactionary to data we don't necessarily trust just so that we can feel good about ourselves. Scaling becomes a byproduct of the cost averaging of our net performance, reducing our CPA over time. Basically, the better your efficiency is, the more sales you're making, meaning you're getting a higher and higher margin of revenue per day, which means you can invest more money to create more of those journeys that come in at a high margin. The other aspect of scaling is simply just to spend more. But we need to understand when we spend more, our costs will almost assuredly rise with time. And we know this happens because of the algebra of how Facebook includes budget as one of the three pillars and the variables that determine our bid. Remember what Facebook decides to charge you is budget times estimated action rate and advertiser score. Budget, by the way, not being what you set your daily spend at the campaign level. It's what amount of money every ad has to spend. How many impressions does that ad have to serve? And how far outside of that ad's low hanging fruit does it have to move? Basically, how many impressions does it have to do that reduce an overall quality over time? That's where we lose overall efficiency because the value of the impression is directly related to how much someone is going to either positively or negatively respond to our content. Here's the secret to scaling a Facebook ad account. And trust me, I've taken ad accounts to hundreds of millions of dollars over the years. I do it all the time. This is what I'm really, really good at. We have to understand one very specific thing. When we scale efficiency by reducing our CPA, we have the opportunity to increase our budget by sending some of that margin that we've given ourselves below our target CPA and investing that into additional volume of impressions. This ultimately gives us, when we reduce our CPA and we have a higher margin, that gives us a better PSM and cash flow solutions to our business. That's how you scale.